Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to episode number 12 of my Wolves Career Modes in FM 2014. Hopefully you're enjoying these episodes so far. I'm definitely enjoying them, making, playing this save. Also, I have the Liverpool one, if people are wondering about that. It's a different style, so I'm going to do these two. I think it's a good challenge. I like being English teams, of course, and still, you know, you probably notice there's only one little issue because I download better uh, competition graphics and stuff. Uh, and and for like the real logos in the Premier League, so I had to do that. But then these ones change because I really my Liverpool one will be more about the graphics because it's in the screenshot way. So it's only a little detail. It's only the logo of the league, which will only when I click on the league. So it should be um, yeah a minor, really minor, minor detail. So you shouldn't yeah shouldn't even need to worry about it. But anyway, moving on. So much great results. I'm not sure. Because uh, this formation hasn't been as good with Liverpool. I won't give away the results. Just go, yeah, go see it, I guess. Uh, so I might not, I'm not really sure if this is going to be as good once I get to the Premier League level. Especially, you think my team is not, definitely not good enough as Liverpool. So uh, I might have to have in the back of my head. Or maybe just play on a more counter way with this formation. Might have to make changes. But that's what Football Manager is about. Previous match, Gillingham. I didn't really want to show that. That was we were really we should be winning that at home, and yeah. Otherwise, this will take forever. I might start playing through this one a bit more, and because I really want to start signing some regions. I love when regions get into the game. It's probably my favorite part of the game, if I'm honest. So that was yeah. That's pretty much it. But next up, real I want to show these finals of the Johnston's Paint Trophy, because I believe I can win it, and that will be a successful season if I can win that and get promoted. And of course, having amazing recent form. Uh, now, uh, we are basically, we should get on top of Leighton Orient. Look at that, plus 33 goal difference. People say uh, your tactic, like you don't know if it's good or not yet. Like it could be crap or it could be, or it could keep being good because you're Wolves and you should deserve, but it must be a good tactic if I have plus 33 goal difference. Let's just check out some, yeah, some details, I guess. Uh, look at this. What, we have 48 goals scored and only 15 conceded. So we're still equal uh, and played one less game than Leighton Orient, so you think they might concede one next game. So we're playing a very attacking formation, but we we, we still conceded the least in the league. So you got to keep that in mind as well. A very good formation, but I do like checking my home form. I might have to compile a different tactic uh, or assemble a different tactic for away matches. Let's just check it out. See, home matches, 26 goals scored and only five against. And yeah, haven't lost at home, so that's definitely a positive record. And of course, away... Uh, it's a bit, it's not great. It's, uh, you have to be serious. It's only 22 goals scored and 10 conceded, but that's still a pretty good record. If you ask 22 goals scored from nine matches away, that's still like you're averaging over two goals a game playing away. So that's pretty good if you ask me, but I know, uh, this is definitely an easier league, but looking at those statistics, uh, it looks good for me and it suits my players. You got to, that's a big thing that probably it doesn't suit so much my, for Liverpool, that's why you have to sign players that suit in the positions, and this really suits them perfectly. Uh, but for me, Liverpool's defense is not great. That's something I wanted to change, but I'll take these players off here. Of course, you can only put five on the bench uh, for these cup matches, so we'll work that out. Uh, I'm going to put my best team out there because I want to win this competition. I don't want to put any risks, but Danny Bart, I've been playing him, so I thought I might as well put him for Boyata, who's definitely not been as great as Martin. Martin's just been crazy. Uh, so many players playing well, which is obviously a good sign for your team. Uh, Craig Conway, we'll probably bring him in. He's someone who can make a difference to the team. Uh, I'm going to probably take off hmm, Kevin McDonald. I'm not really convinced with him, and his contract is running out at the end of the season, so I might have to let him go. Ricketts can play all along defense, so he'll be the sub option. Uh, Sigurd Arson as a winger or forward. Conway come on, come on the left side. And Ford in midfield, and Cassidy as another striker. So I believe that's good options we have. Jordi Gomez, superb morale, only 87 condition. Uh, ideally, I want to pick up, uh, be winning at halftime, and then I'll take him off, bring on, uh, I guess, Ford for the experience. And that's the subs I've been making. Ford is a good prospect. We've got a couple other prospects coming through, but that's why I want to change my episode. Do you like it when I show like my players, my lo players loaned out that have good potential? I like changing it up. Some episodes will be 
like that. Some episodes I'll focus more on the team and other episodes I'll try and get two matches out. And I will be going back to uh, doing the 3D gameplay, but some people might say it goes slow or something. So I can't have it both ways. I'll just put it out there. And if people like it, uh, leave it in your comments and then I'll go that way definitely. Uh, yeah, you just want to, I like to see people's comments and I want to do what's best, even though it might take longer to upload. I just want to do what people like the most. So please uh, leave your comments on the 3D gameplay. I wasn't originally going to go on it because I've been doing it for the Liverpool one, but I haven't been showing that, like showing matches. So that's why. Because, uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. Like, it just goes slow because I'm not obviously recording the matches. So, and when I record, it goes slightly slower. But uh, I just need to read here what I'm going to say. Come on, lads, show me what you can do and keep our run going today. Uh, and the only player motivated from that is Zali Ismail, who's been beast for me. I've liked him because he's both got goals and assists. I suppose you can say that about Griffiths as well, but he's the wider player. You need your wide players to come in, and Griff Griffiths definitely would not get that much goals if it wasn't for my wide players like Ismail and Sacco uh, coming in for a fantastic amount of assists. Uh, so I need to slow this down definitely. And yeah, so if you do enjoy, if you like seeing the... 3D gameplay, leave in your comments. But it'll be, I would really struggle to do, yeah, I would struggle to do two episodes with them because upload time will be probably like one hour and a half and they'll just be uh, impossible. So only one game, definitely. And when I do no other transfer stuff and that's how it'll have to be. But that would allow me to play through it more than... Uh, so yeah, I'm giving you a lot of options. So please leave in your comments what you like best. And I do appreciate all the comments and likes. I know Football Manager, it's hard to get viewers and likes because uh, a lot of people struggle. There's only a, probably a couple other channels that get like similar likes and views to me. Everyone else, it's, it struggles for Football Manager, which is disappointing. I would say I want to do something to help it, but honestly, I'm just focusing on my videos for now. Um, so yeah, okay, I need a... I think it's just the snow or something that makes this look bad, but I'm going to change this to TV. I don't really like Director. Uh, TV just sits back like that. Uh, but Director's a bit closer, isn't it? So I'm not sure. Let's just try something else. Main stand. No, that's too high. I'm just trying up some different ones here. Close. Uh, I think I'll do direct to camera because that's like, if you think about like recording and stuff. So yeah, so I'll just leave it that for now and yeah, leave your thoughts on it. So Hennessy picking it up there. Very good that he and Doyle have finally decided to stay at my team, uh, which is a good thing because they are key players, no doubt. Asako get past. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I think the ball's kind of a little bit camouflaging. Not how, not sure really how like you're going to see it like in the video. Uh, but hopefully it's all good. Tackle. Here comes the goal. Oh, great save, Hennessy. And I don't know if it's just me, but I get better results when I play in 2D Classic. But I don't know. That's just me. That's why we're probably not dominating as I would have liked. But we have a free kick here for Griffiths. And he puts it in. What a strike, Lee Griffiths. Amazing play. He's a fantastic striker. Amazing finishing. But then he's got that to his game. He's got amazing free kick taking. Uh, look at that on the replay. On his favoured left foot. Put it in over the wall. <laughs> Goalkeeper has no chance with that shot. Super player. And of course, as you know, he's gathering interest from bigger clubs. Most notably, uh, the most interest has come from Birmingham in recent times. But definitely, I don't want to sell him. want to keep him at the team. Because, of course, that reason, when we haven't been creating too much chances, that is, the, yeah, that it's the thing. Like, he's not really doing too much. So, we'll see. Got Effie Ambrose coming in. Uh, he's doing well. Aaron Martin playing poorly uh, on a very, very rare occasion uh, for us. So, let's see if there'll be a late chance created. Uh, it will be decent if we can create it. Oh, ball's through for Kevin Doyle. Can he finish? Whoa. Oh, he missed. I didn't see what happened. Uh, because as I said, this yellow ball here, yeah, as I said, this yellow ball is like, it looks a bit weird. Uh, camouflage with something. I'm not sure why, but you see here on the replay. I'm not sure. What, where did it rebound off? It looked like it rebound off the net. I'm not sure, but leave in your comments. If you watch that, like you have to buy, you would have to rewind it or something. I don't know what happened there, but I have to probably have to take a better look at it a bit later on. But I'll sort of say... I'm pleased and tell them to keep going how it is. You've got to be happy with that. And Jordi Gomez, I might give him like 10 minutes or so, maybe around the 55 minute mark, then I'll sub him out. I definitely want to play him as much as I can because you know, he is a key player for the team. Uh, and yeah, keeps that midfield strong. 
uh, keeps the ball, keeps the game going. David Edwards and Jordi Gomez, two centre mids, uh, very strong when you play them together. Sacco puts it in, and I think the yellow ball just Clyde or clashes. Yeah, I'm not sure why I said Clyde clashes. I should say uh, with the kit a little bit. Maybe that's why I was struggling to see it. But Jordi Gomez, uh, that was a weak shot at the end of the day. Uh, pretty easy for Fon Williams to save as he puts it down, then boots it down the ground. Oh, great header by Danny Bart. Fantastic. But here, here, oh, whew, I thought that would have been a goal for sure. They were in on defense and look very dangerous. So let's see. See, I just don't like the corners from this because yeah, you can hardly see it properly like that. Uh, but anyway, moving on. As we, oh, I should, yeah, I thought, should, like, Jordi Gomez is not playing bad, so I'm not sure if we should take him out or, or not. Hmm, just the big things you have to think about. Alakobi, dangerous ball in. Jordi Gomez finds Alakobi. He's on the opposite side, which he should be. As you see, Ambrose is there. Ambrose, decent for Alakobi. Jordi Gomez, whoa, that was a good chance created, if you ask me. Fantastic passing around the box. And actually, I'm just going to try one thing. I'm going to try and put it on well, camera, this one on TV, so it's pushed back a bit. I know, I like it a bit better like that for me. It's just a bit, yeah, it's just pushed back and I can see more stuff and it's probably easier for me to do like commentary so I can see all my players properly and not get confused. But you probably think that's a weird reason. But Ford coming on, I'm not sure what to do. I'll probably rest Cassidy. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking, yeah, I'll put Cassidy on for some experience. In a cup match, of course, he has very great potential. Bring off Ambrose so he doesn't get a red card. That's what I'm dreading uh, most. And put Sam Ricketts, who's a very reliable player. Hasn't been really first team so far this season, but I'm definitely getting him in. And I've really, really noticed saying I have faith in my players, like to them in here, it definitely, or the second option for the top. It works well most of the time, apart from when I say it here <laughs> in a video. Uh, but you see, finally, when you do assertive, the second option from the top, uh, mostly it would be you have faith uh, most of the time or a lot of the time most of your players get a good reaction they seem happy from that and yeah results in their performance as well Danny Bart doing really good Aaron Martin coming up from that bad rating he had before uh, which is always good to see uh, for your players but Danny Bart slowly getting better oh Cass that's a red yes bye Danny Holmes you're gone red card we've got this match all just, we've got it. We've got the match. That's all I can say about it. Sacco Doyle. I'm actually, most people wouldn't do this, but I'm just going to go overload just to try and score as much goals as possible because they got one less player. Surely they wouldn't score twice and they'll go on out on the attack and hopefully I'll get him on the counter or something or yeah, who knows what might happen, but definitely they won't score twice. I just, well, try to score another goal, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, for me, as we have a player going off, George Alakobi, most more off, more likely, yeah, yeah, more likely, more yeah, more than likely, it won't matter because there's not much time left. But here, I'm just going to take no risks, uh, go just counter, I don't know, and have three at the back. We might concede one, but hopefully not two, because if we do, it might be uh, very bad. But there's probably not enough time left for that. You see. Uh, if anything, they might just score one at the ends. But yeah, you would think nothing happens from here. It's too close to the end. Uh, let's see how this formation goes with three at the back. Obviously, we would have an extra play in midfield. I ideally would want to put one in. Kevin Doyle. Oh, he's in. And that's a foul right as the two minutes extra time is gone. So it should be over anyway. So it's a very good victory. 2-0 away. Away matches are always hard, as you know. So let's see what we can do from here. Even though it doesn't really matter, the ref puts his lips to the whistle and it's all over there. So, fantastic result. 2-0. Fantastic performance. Unfortunately, got George Alakobi injured. So, might might have to bring in Ricketts, which I'm definitely not... Like, I'm not disappointed like, I'm, that I can do that because Ricketts has performed well. But we did concede eight shots on target. That's uh, definitely something I'm sure people will uh, put that out there and saying I have to be wary of that. And let's see, we won a decent amount of tackles. And yeah, I'm sure people definitely want to point that out. What, nine shots on target that we had, and they had eight shots on target. So, but that's what attacking formation is. We've got, we expecting to win matches. That's why I'm going attacking. So, obviously, that's the reason why I'm doing that. Then Coventry, who they've been playing well. Uh, if you see in the league, 
even though they had 10 points deducted from them, uh, they've won 11 games. So that's on par with Peterborough and Tranmere. So they would be like third or fourth. So keep that in mind also. And we're doing well. As I said, this if I did two matches uh, on 3D, upload time and render time will just be too much than I want. So I'm going to leave it here. So hopefully enjoy this episode. Uh, winning again in the Johnstones paint trophy. Want to go all the way and win the final? Oh, I think I have one transfer to show you as well. Jason Holtz on a free transfer. I'm not sure if I showed in the previous episode or not because yeah, I played in advance and all that kind of thing and haven't done an episode for two days, I think. So uh, at least recording. I upload it every day at least. Four and a half star report. Approach to sign this guy on a free transfer. Leave your thoughts on him. Could be a beast player in the future, no doubt. If I go into information, gets into the opposition area and dictates the tempo, he would be a perfect box-to-box midfielder along with labeled the next Paul Max stay. So, of course, with that, you would think, uh, when it always says that about a player, you know he has decent potential in the game. He has potential to grow. So, uh, he's definitely one to look out for in the future. Uh, to me, he would actually have good attributes for a striker. Might have to tra- teach him there, but he's a bit small. He's got anticipation of 12 and off the ball of 12. So, and if people notice, like, if I'm trying to, you think I'm talking quick, just so I can get the video done quicker. That's the only reason why. Uh, because there's so much things to show in Football Manager. I try and do it in the shortest time as possible. That's why you probably think I'm talking fast so the episode doesn't go too long. Uh, So yeah, that's the reason why. Uh, Leave a like if you enjoy this episode. I'll see you guys next time.